first understanding of decision making or first step how to categorize the problems or situations that is our most fundamental thing if we have done this part properly don't worry next part you will able to do easily next step you will able to do easily then it is broadly divided in four types logical business and financial managerial and customer related or public related ethical dilemmas these four major category again sub category can be multiple but many of the times just you can expect questions will hit from this area this area more business and financial and ethical dilemma these two are favorite now we'll come to the next shape how to solve decision making because all we understood the background what to do what is the frame of reference which is the step identification uh, uh, identifying the options after then taking the everything we understood but in practical way what are the steps we will follow to solve the decision making i will request you little bit more concentration for next 10 minutes it will give you very solid understanding of decision making we are just following five steps method to solve the decision making step 1 identify the problem or situation see this problem or situation is falling down in which category out of four logical business or financial after then you can say customer related or ethical dilemma how to identify the problems first thing we have to learn how to identify the problem that itself a big problem don't confuse what i told first we have to learn how to identify the problem that itself a big problem since we have to learn how to identify the problems how to identify we have to comprehend the situations comprehend the situations and under, understand the ethical managerial or financial implications this is here main word if you are taking this or you are for going toward this then what will be ethical manager or financial implication if you are doing this what will be this 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 if you are doing this what will be this various parties stakeholders involved who are the a uh, stakeholders or parties involved during the situation or taking the decision and how they are going to affect establish the relationship among various stakeholders in terms of business operations once we have done you will able to understand this situation is related to managerial level business level or you can say logical level only or maybe eth uh, ethical dilemma level step 2 what are available choices we have available choices don't consider it is only good or which are possible no available choices all the choices what can be feasible non feasible irrelevant relevant somebody has told you have listen all you make in one set and make available choices this is not a, like a feasible only everything what can be what can be it will include all feasible solution also feasibility check will do next step feasibility check we will do next step all these available choices like just suppose this 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 10 choices we have out of that these three are feasible these two are possible but not feasible these three are irrelevant it is not going to uh, you can say make very a strong impact related to our business or business model or maybe business situation step 3 possible solution as we have to think possible solution means basically that choices will divide in two category which is possible which is irrelevant once we are able to categorize in possible solution then only one job will be there this possible solution which one is feasible which one is feasible if we understood feasibility test of any of the particular particular possible solution and that feasibility test is showing very very you can say good or positive trend for your company we can opt for that it will depends on your mathematical figures facts suitable for organization 
to do, I am telling feasibility test we have to do. Step 4, once you decide this is 3 or 4 possible solutions are there, then consequence of every solution you have to must make list of that. Maybe it may be small, big or appreciable, not appreciable, but you must list out every possible solution what are the consequences. Analyze the consequences of solution both side positive negative. Avoid the, avoid the traps either personal or based on experience. Many of the times our personal thinking will come in between and it will contradict our experience or it will contradict our business operations. Always be careful. Forecast the outcome of consequences. Compare the consequences of solutions. Comparison should be relevant and based on the facts and figures or customer satisfaction levels or public service levels. If you are comparing the solutions or comparing the outcomes, don't compare irrelevant. Compare based on your available facts and figures. Due to data driven, decision making is always better. Because always you will get some input, some data for every possible solution. Every possible solution we want to compare, you will get some data. This is 3.1%, this is 3.5% or this is better. Very easy. Or if you are not having any data or related to business operation or related to any of the market data you don't have, then you can go for the customer satisfaction level or public service level. Like what the public service doing, they will take the public service level. Or who are doing the business, we will gather the customer satisfaction level. We have the data. If this type of decision related to almost similar decision earlier, three years before somebody has taken in our company or some of, some of our, uh, you can say, great competitors, then customer satisfaction level was this, this, this. If we are going to this decision, then customer satisfaction, we are most probably will expect this, this, this. Then customer satisfaction level, one of the, you can say, source to compare and to arrive toward a best solution. Choose best solution. How? How to say this A, B, C and D, this is only best? Frame of reference. This only will give you the guide. These four are equally competent. All four options are equally suitable. But B is only most suitable. Based on our frame of reference very crux of the business. After comparison of pros, cons of possible solutions, select the best solution to course of action. We can understand through some LTI, like uh, we will just start to learn decision making process. You can say it is a cyclic process or vicious cycle, it will keep on move, like it is a, it will start with planning, implementation, monitoring and evaluation, assessment. After assessment, again planning, implementation, monitoring. Or we can make we can understand in matrix way, analytical, conceptual, behavior, direct, task, technical, or you can say people to social, ambiguity to a structure. This model or this matrix will give you, earlier everything was ambiguous. Ambiguous and due to ambiguity, we are not able to understand all the facets of that situations. How to remove the ambiguity? We will take the help of this matrix, analytical point, conceptual, directive, behavioral and afterwards that ambiguity will be clarified in particular structure. Feedback, awareness of problem, diagnose this, this, this. You can just select the best alternative or decision making process. We can understand in a step by identification of problem, analysis of problem, development of alternatives, evaluation of alternatives, selection of best alternatives, implementation of alternatives, review of them. You can divide in many steps or maybe more than seven steps also. But for de decision making, whatever we are targeting to learn at this stage, that five step method is sufficient. Define the problem, develop alternatives like this. Now, which type of questions generally asked in your JAT or other MBA interest test related to decision making. One type of question will be there that is single questions per paragraph. One paragraph has given something and afterwards one question is there. Another will be like caselet model, two or three questions per paragraph or four or five questions 
based on a particular situations or case lead that situation may constitute two or three paragraph okay any kind of thing 